Today I'm going to be taking a look at this quirky little fellow by the house of Muschino. To find out my thoughts on this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 41 of my Fragrance 365 project where I talk about a different fragrance every day for a whole year. So firstly, I would just like to apologise for not posting any videos for the past couple of days. Uh, before the start of the coronavirus outbreak, I was in my final semester of a, a photography degree. I'm actually studying as a, a mature student uh, and I applied to reattempt the year again due to the uh, coronavirus. Uh, but since then it's been denied and I've actually got nine weeks to submit a dissertation and all my final projects. So with that said, I will try my best to keep posting as much as I can. Uh, but for the next nine weeks, I may not be able to post every day which I know kind of defeats the purpose of a 365 project uh, but I will definitely post every day once my studies have come to an end and I'll also create all the uh, 365 videos. So if you want to check out some of my photography uh, my Instagram name is magu777 I'll post a link in the description so feel free to uh, have a look at my profile and see what you think of my photography. Uh, so I basically just wanted to kind of clear that up before I started receiving any comments as to why I'm no longer posting every day. So back to business and today's scent of the day is one that featured briefly in one of my top 10 uh, lists earlier this year. It came out in 2019 and this followed uh, Toy 2, which is the woman's version from 2018 and it comes in this clear bottle design. So yeah, we'll get into this one, let's break it down and we'll see what this one is all about. Yes, top notes in this one are bergamot, pink pepper, pear, elemi resin and nutmeg. In the mid, we've got clove, rose, magnolia and flax. And in the base, we've got vetiver, sandalwood, cashmere, amber and silkalide. First of all, this smells very unique and unlike anything else that I've got currently sat in my collection. It has a fruity floral aroma and I'd say that I pick up on the rose and the pear more than anything else, uh, but to me it doesn't smell too feminine. I would say it's more of a, a unisex scent profile because of the fruity and the floral notes, but there's also some spiciness and woody notes that bring it back from crossing over from being too feminine. There's also a touch of a, a dark and mysterious accord lurking somewhere in the background, which is fairly difficult to describe because it's a, a fairly unique fragrance and it's, it's not really one that I could say resembles another particular scent, uh, but it's high quality scent character uh, kind of makes me think of something along the lines of by Killian's uh, Voulez Vous Coucher Avec Moi uh, because of the floral aspect to it. I really enjoy wearing this fragrance and I'd say that it's one of the most interesting releases of 2020 so far. It comes in this quirky black opaque bottle with the teddy bear design and also it features the Moschino logo across the front there in silver. The bottle design as well as the whole marketing campaign uh, behind this fragrance is very camp and features leather clad models which breaks away from the traditional show of male masculinity and affluence which is often the go-to narrative in men's fragrance advertising. The only downside is that uh, you can't see how much juice you've got in this bottle whatsoever even if you hold it up to the brightest light so that could be an issue if you were heading out and you were maybe going on a date night and 
you wait to spray it and just there were nothing left in the bottle. So that's one thing to think about. The box uh, continues in the same kind of theme. We've got the black background and we've got the chrome effect uh, branding on the front and the teddy bear also features at the front of the box. This one was bought as a, a, in a gift set, which included a shower, a shower gel and also a 10 mil atomizer, which contained the teddy bear design also. Um, so yeah, I think the I think this looks absolutely fantastic when it's inside my fragrance. Uh, but what do you think to the design of this one? Is it something that you'd be proud to put in your collection? Let me know down in the comments section what you think. This one I'd say is best suited to the spring and autumn seasons, uh, but it also worked well as a, an evening summer fragrance. It's not a dark uh, scent at all. Uh, but I'd say it's a little bit too rich to wear casually or as a daytime office scent. It's got a grown-up feel about it and I'd say it would be probably best suited to someone in their mid-twenties and upwards. It would also uh, make for a perfect date night scent because it's got a really nice seductive quality about it that kind of draws you in and makes you want to smell it time and time again. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration and the performance is excellent both in projection and longevity. You're going to get a solid two to three hours of heavy projection with a huge scent cloud uh, and then at least eight to ten hours of longevity. This is one that won't fail to get you noticed so you might want to go easy on the sprayer for the first few times that you wear it, kind of gauge the reactions that you get from other people. But yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Uh, this is kind of semi-beast mode performance. Out of all the different scent profiles, I would say my least favourite fragrances are usually the ones with dominant floral notes. This one, however, is done extremely well. And even though I can detect the rose more than anything else, um, all the other notes uh, in this really support it really well. And, and they produce a very unique and really enjoyable fragrance. For me, this one sits uh, on the borderline between smelling like a niche fragrance and also a designer scent. Uh, but I think more people are gonna like this one rather than being turned off by it. Having said that, I would say this is a, a try before you go ahead and blind buy it fragrance. Uh, but for me personally, I would give this one a nine out of 10. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about one of my most favorite affordable fragrances. So don't forget to tune in for that one. Also, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if it's your first time here, thank you very much for tuning in. It's also great to hear your opinions on all the fragrances that feature in these videos. And if you've owned uh, this one, then let me know down in the comments section what you think of it. So until next time, everybody, once again, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and bye-bye for now.